hey guys in this video i want to show you how to effortlessly copy color grading from your favorite movie and apply them to your own images and we know for your ado let's get started the first thing we are going to do is to balance the exposure of the image in order to do that duplicate the layer the background layer and then come and set the blend mode to multiply you come and create a layer max why on your layer max come to image apply image leave all the setting at default and now click on ok this was the before and this is the after the next step is to come to your file click on place embedded now go to the folder where you save the reference image and open it on this particular image now we are going to reduce the size and place it right here we are going to take note of the colors in this reference image and then recreate them on our own image. The first color here is the cyan. So the closest color to the cyan is the color in the background here. So in order to know the particular color in your own image, create a hue saturation adjustment layer. Take the hand picker tool and click on the color you want to identify. And you can see this has changed to cyan. Previously, it was on master, but if you click on this, it changes to cyan. So, in order to target the color, you come and create another adjustment, the selective color adjustment layer. Now, go to your cyan. In the cyan, we are going to add more cyan. And then, we are going to add yellow, like this. Now, while we are making this adjustment, it is affecting the reference image. To avoid that, we are going to take this layer and bring it below the reference layer. Now it's no longer affecting the reference image. So when you are done with adjusting the cyan, if you notice when we are trying to identify the color in the background, it slightly changed to blue, meaning there are some blue in the cyan. So the next color we are going to target is the blue. So come and click on the blues. And in the blue, we are going to add more cyan to the blue. But instead of adding yellow, this time we are going to add blue. That is by removing yellow, we add blue to the blues selection. So this was the before and this is the after. The next color we are going to target is the skin tone. So in order to target the skin tone, we are going to create another selective color. This time we come to yellows. In the reference image you can see that the yellow is somehow good in color so in order to get that effect we are going to come to the cyan and move it to the left like this and now we'll go to the reds and now we are going to add more cyan to the reds like this and now we'll come to the yellow and add more red to the yellow and then we we'll come to the blacks of the yellows and then we are going to increase it like this to the left and now we come to the right we are going to make this adjustment like this in the right we can add a little bit of yellow to the right like this and we take a look at the before and the after this was the before this is the after for the final grading we are going to go into camera row. in order to go into camera row, we are going to create a stamp visible layer before we create the stamp visible layer, we are going to turn off the reference image and now press Ctrl Shift Alternate E. Now you come to Filter, Camera Roll Filter. Right here, the Camera Roll Filter, the first color grading attempt you are going to make is right in the profile. Come to your browse profiles and then come to the artistic. Click on the artistic O3 and we are going to reduce it like this to this level 40. Now we are going to go back. Right now we can add increase the temperature a little bit like this to enhance the skin tone and then the tint we are going to move it slightly to the green. The next thing we can do is to add a little bit of contrast. Now reduce the highlight and increase the white a little bit we can also add the vibrance like this 
and then reduce the saturation and i will go to the color mixer to make the final changes move your reds slightly to the right like this because if you move it to the left you get more magenta so you move it slightly to the right now the skin tone is in the oranges slider so you move the skin tone slightly to the right also and now the yellow you can move the yellow to the left like this now let's take a look at before and the after this was the before and this is the after finally we go back to to photoshop now turn on the reference image let's group the adjustment we have made so far like this let's take a look at the before the after this was before applying the effect and this is after applying the effect let's increase the size of the reference image to see how very close this color grading has gotten now this was before and this is after if you find this helpful please leave a like to this video and leave your feedback in the comment section right now please don't also forget to subscribe and turn on post notification the other thing you can do to finalize the whole process is to come and take your elliptical marker tool now create a selection here like this now we are going to turn off the reference image now after creating the selection come to your adjustment and create a curves adjustment this final process is to bring the user viewers attention to the model so we are going to reduce the exposure at the midpoint like this now make sure you're on the curves layer max and then press ctrl i on your keyboard to inverse this selection and then the fader you increase the fader until the selection has been faded out like this this was the before and this is the after you can go on to now retouch your image and add your own lots and preset and stylize to your list but for the process we have just passed through you can see that we have copied the color grading from the other image and applied it to our own image this was the reference image and this is the color grading we have gotten Sami photography offers full retouching course you can take the link in the description to get in touch with us on instagram we also offer online retouching mentorship program and you can also reach out for one-on-one -on -one retouching classes happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial